right guys here's a quick update with the boost tap slash PCV block off and the catch can so I didn't put this little locking tab on because either I didn't know how to put it on or it was built wrong but this has never fallen off on its own if you work at it a little bit you can pull it off though I don't remember exactly how long ago I put this in I could look on YouTube and see the video but off the top of my head I don't know the bolt or the plug that is the block off started to rust so I took that off took it to a wire wheel cleaned it up painted it put it back in and there haven't been any other problems with it even though that's not really a problem on the catch can side I did replace this hose because it was either too short or it was just really stiff hose and it wasn't making this bend I don't exactly remember but I did replace this one I didn't replace this one because it worked just fine and then I did take a little piece of hose and slide it over this line because it looked like it was rubbing on the hood and I didn't want that to rub through to drain the catch can there used to be a plug right down here you'd have to try and undo it and then of course the catch can would just dump all of its contents right down that hole all over the back of the engine and on the ground so I replaced that with a valve that I can shut off and then a hose that runs down to the bottom of the car so I just throw a pan underneath it turn the valve let it drain and then when it's done draining close the valve it stops leaking and no mess so I've been driving the car since early November and this is what I've collected so far see it's a decent amount of water a little bit of oil on top and something not entirely sure what's on the bottom but something gross <laughs> so since I've collected this much I know that the catch cans actually doing something it is a sealed catch can so I can't look inside of it I don't know what type of baffles or foam or screens or anything are inside of it but it does it does do the job so the reason I put this PCV block off plate in in the first place is last winter I was having trouble with the car starting in the morning when it was super cold out uh, the car would start and then it would idle super rough you couldn't rev it or anything and it would throw a check engine light right away so after googling it I found some forums and I figured out that the problem was this PCV valve all of the water and everything that I've caught through the catch can was just blowing through this PCV down this pipe into the intake manifold right before the throttle body all that water would spray on the throttle plate it would freeze it and then that next morning it would be frozen stuck in place after a little bit of research I figured out Mini had actually made a different version of the intake manifold and it seemed like they were doing it as kind of a recall thing for a while but when I called them to see if I get it done on my car they wanted upwards of $400 for it and I'm pretty sure that was just for the intake manifold and if they were going to do the labor it was well over a thousand dollars so I decided if I could find some other way around that instead of spending you know a thousand dollars to try and fix my winter car so I could drive it in winter that'd be great so I started googling and I found that they make a block off plate for this PCV valve so I took that chance I bought the block off plate and the catch can now I'm catching all the water it's not spraying into the intake manifold it's not freezing the throttle body and I'm happy I saved a bunch of money and it worked no problems yet and there you have it there's the update that nobody was asking for